All right, good morning, KW Milwaukee, on uh, Tuesday, June 14th. Hopefully, everybody's ready to uh, reach triple digits today. Uh, it's finally heating up. We moved from uh, our delayed spring right into summer. So, uh, quick note for you. For those of you in Tosa and Lake Country, it really does not apply much to you, but um, there's a lesson learned in all of it, so I'm going to share it with you. You know, I'll tell you this, the universe has a funny way of testing your absolute max capacity. Uh, for those of you who don't know, and I really only shared this with the North Shore group because the rest of the groups weren't impacted by this, uh, but two weeks ago, we finished what was a six, seven month renovation of our North Shore space. Last week, Friday, uh, for those of you in Lake Country, I know, especially those who live in Oconomowoc, saw the hail and the storm and everything that came through. We also decided last week to do a massive roof project uh, right after we completed the renovation of the space. And Friday night, I was at Sendix picking up dinner for my family. And I decided, you know, this is really like shit's hitting the fan. I should probably go check on the, the office. And I walk into literally a downpour within all over the space that we just renovated. So uh, we were here till about 1030 moving computers and furniture and everything else Saturday we had a and we had a commercial restoration company on site so um, <laughs> pardon our dust 2.0 while we put everything back together there you're going to notice there's a lot of commercial dehumidifiers all over the space um, but operation the show goes on so we're working through that and know that you know if you <laughs> if you see a lot of ceiling tiles missing or a lot of dust it's because we're currently removing 100% of the insulation in the attic. We have to remove probably 80% of the ceiling tiles. Uh, you know, we'll work through it. So my point to it is, is the universe has a funny way of testing your max capacity through everything. And there's always light at the end of the tunnel. So you'll be able to see your way through the storm, right? Now, having said that, I'm actually going to transition to one other thing quickly. Okay. Oh, I fucking hate this. Here's what I'll tell you. Willis is going through some stuff right now at home. It's his news to share. I'll let him share it. But I'll ask you to do this. He's a guy we all love. And he gives us nothing but positive energy every single day when we walk into the office. So I'd ask of one favor, whether you've met him or not, just send him a text and let him know you're thinking about him. Okay? Send him a prayer. Send him some energy. Um, he'll be out for a few days, probably. So just do me a favor and tell me you're thinking about him, that you love him, because I know he shows up every single day with a smile on his face, even when you would believe some of the stuff he shows up to when clients throw documents at him, throw like random stuff. Um, and the guy always is willing to take it and be there for others to serve you and serve your clients to make sure that he provides you and your clients an absolutely exceptional experience. So having said that, um, do me a favor, shoot him a text, whether you know him or not, and just let him know that you're thinking about it and love him. Because I'll tell you, our community has an incredible way of uplifting folks and, and helping them when they're down, helping them get up when they're out, right? So give me two seconds because we're going to need your answer. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. So as we go on, do me a favor, shoot Willis a note. Having said that, a couple other things just so you uh, to put on your guys' radar. This weekend, Sunday, June 19th, uh, the, nationally we are cel celebrating June, Juneteenth Day. A lot of awesome celebrations in and around the Milwaukee area. I've actually been fortunate enough to work a hand, uh, the Milwaukee Juneteenth Festival on Martin Luther King Drive a handful of days when I was in college. Uh, it's a really cool celebration of culture and a lot of different things. And for those of you who are unaware of what Juneteenth Day is, it's comm commemorating the emancipation of enslaved Black people in America. Uh, it is now also recognized, I think two or three years ago, it was recognized as a federally recognized holiday. Uh, so two things to point out for you. One, this week on June 15th at noon on KW Connect, James Shaw and Julia Lachey Israel will be leading a dialogue and conversation around recognizing Juneteenth to promote equity and inclusion in your business. 
great conversation. If you've had anything to take, if you've had an, ever had an opportunity to take any of James Shaw's classwork or Julia Lachey, Israel's classwork, uh, both incredible people. I think it's a very active and important dialogue. So I would encourage you guys to tune in. We'll make sure to send you the link, but that will be June 15th at noon uh, to celebrate Juneteenth Day. Along with that, I also need to make you aware that across all of our locations, uh, Monday, June 20th, our office locations will be closed as it is a federally recognized holiday. So we will be closed for Juneteenth Day next week, Monday, June 20th. Having said that, we will, I do still plan on hosting a team meeting on Tuesday, June 21st. Cool? Awesome. And if you haven't sent Willis a text, just shoot him a note. Let him know we're thinking about him. All right. Handful of people to celebrate for us uh, who capped in the month of May. First up, uh, the real estate, what I call tycoon on the east side, owns a bunch of rental properties, does her thing, loves to travel the world. Julie Bulgren, congrats on capping in the month of May. <laughs> Next up, uh, quick little plug, today at one o'clock, he's taking a group of folks, agent to agent, through a flip that is totally gutted down, bare bones to the stud, to help you see a house at its bare, naked minimum. Uh, Joey Carini, the rock star realtor, Joey Carini, congrats on capping in the month of May. Next up, she played soccer at the University of Wisconsin as a mother of four, husband runs a lot of bars and restaurants in downtown Milwaukee. Lauren Foy, congrats on creating balance and capping in the month of May. Next up, KG Sells, Wisconsin, all over. Uh, the guy ran restaurants for a long time. He used to be a head chef uh, for many, many years, tried to balance both careers, and he just couldn't take flight in real estate. And he finally gave in and said, you know what? I'm quitting the side hustle. I'm making this thing a go. Last year, he sold $10 million in real estate, absolutely providing for him and his family. Congrats on KG for capping in the month of May. <laughs> All right, next up. Sarah Hansen, uh, one of my like 100 family members in this business, uh, a testament to she's been in the business for 30 plus years, was on the East Coast over in Baltimore, Maryland. And then a few years ago when she was an empty nester, moved to Milwaukee and proved that uh, success can translate and correlate into new markets. So Sarah Hansen, congrats on capping in the month of May. Next up, Cy on the a key home team for Amanda Schroeder's team, relatively newer to the business, been in the business for about five, six months, absolutely killing it. Cy is doing a great job. Uh, Cy, congr congrats on your momentum and congrats on your continued success. <laughs> Next up, Julie Scott, uh, another person who moved here from New York City. Uh, learning the business, left corporate America, and proved that you can correlate your business principles, anything that you do into this business and have success quickly. Julie Scott, congrats on capping. <laughs> Next up, Kristen Stahulik. Little known fact, many people don't really know Kristen Stahulik, but she's a major player down in the Lake Geneva market. A couple months ago, the brokerage she was with was going through some major transition. She was looking for her next phase. She joined us because she, she heard about the cult, KW cult community and culture, jumped in, has been plugging in from afar while we learn how to also provide value to her and her business. And despite all the change, she continues her momentum and success. K Kristen Stahula, congrats on capping in the month of May. Uh, Dan and Sherry Wild, I'll give you a quick little cool story about these guys. They spent the month of January and February in Costa Rica. Okay, they, they took bold, Bold uh, phrase is building a, a business objective life by design. They built the life they designed. They left Harley Davidson after working in corporate America for many, many years last summer and is building a phenomenal business. And they are building a life by design. Dan and Sherry Wild, congrats on capping in the month of May. Next up, Randy Young. The master of the flipper who owns many, many investors working it as a side hustle. Real estate's really mainly a side gig, but he absolutely kills it. Randy Young, congrats, congrats on capping in the month of May. And then Deej, I'm flipping it over to you for Robin McCormick in Lake Country. Yeah, congrats to Robin. Uh, Robin is the kindest lady you ever want to meet. She's super supportive and has been spending her time up north and down here and building an amazing business and supporting all of us at the same time. So Robin, kudos to you. Uh, love to see all of your success. Awesome.
All right, we're going to flip and reverse a few things because we have some major changes we need to get through on the back half of the presentation. So we're going to go right through May Awards right away, right up front. So Deej, we're kicking it off with you for Lake Country. Absolutely. So Robin, we just heard her name, Million Dollar Month Club. She leads the pack. Uh, Tamara, John, Mike, Kevin, and Leanne, congrats to all of you. My next category, the Home Run Club, one of my favorites, listing contract, contract closed all in the same month. So you can see all of those rock stars there. Stacy Guzana, I want to call you out, Deb DeFair, Leanne, Katie Montalbano, Natasha Jambrick, and all of the rest of you, congratulations on a fantastic May of that. Agent volume, Robin again leads the pack at 1.6 million. Then you see Tamara, John, Mike, and Kevin. Uh, love to see Kevin Matson 1.7. Congratulations there. Year to date agent volume, Tamara 6.5, Mike Bone at 5.8, Mary Beth at 4, Elena and Annie. Um, and then eight units. We talk about this a lot, you guys. You control your units. And in this market, man, that means a lot. Tamara at 17, leading the pack. Um, and then I love the bottom, Tracy McKenzie and Frank Sinto all vying there to get up to the next level. I love that eight across the board for those, for those guys. Congratulations to you. And now here we are with our uh, team awards, Gallagher Lake Country in the month of May, 2.8. Klosky Realty, 2.2. Congratulations, Chrissy and team. Uh, Leanne, team Trimble and Bark River round out our top five there. Uh, team volume year to date, Gallagher Lake Country at 28.9. Congrats on that. Huge number, love to see that. Um, 19 for Team Trimble. Um, and then you see the rest there. Team units again, Team Trimble, 33. Those ladies have been busy. Uh, Cluster Property Group at 19, Gallagher at 17, uh, 17 for Class Eight and 8 for Bark River. So great, uh, great work all around. You guys love to see all of the activity. Congrats on your success. Sweet. Congrats, Lake Country. Absolutely killer month of May as we hit towards the apex, as we've talked about before. All right, million dollar month, flipping it over for the North Shore and Innovation crew. Handful of people to call out. Andrea Cravello, Sierra Watson, Liz Mitchke, Ethan Masson. Who says your business has to stop when you're in a transition? Same thing with Jessica and Howie. Carla Florence, Casey Lopez, Patrick Simonis, PY, Pat Young, Spencer Harvey. All right. As Deej talked about, the Home Run Club, if you want to make a million-dollar month club, you can't do it unless you hit a Home Run Club in prior months. Why? Because it's one listing taken, one contract written, one contract closed. Handful of folks to call out, Ann Cleaver, Annie Jerzyk, Benji Cohen, Brian Pat, Bridget Ty, Deanne Hansen, Gail Ganley, Guy, Caitlin Warner, Lindsay Andrews, Maggie Drain, Melissa Bradley, Nancy Brennan, Pam Cooper, Tyler Kohler, along with your regular cast of crew, who's usually on here almost every month. So guys, congrats on the Home Run Club in the month of May. Now, individual volume for the month of May. KG Sells, we talked about him. He capped in the month of May, leading the group at 2.3 million in the month of May. Molitor, Abby Wall, and Ethan Masson right on his heels. Here's the coolest part about being in the top 10 in the month of May for individual agents. You had to sell over 1.3 million to get into the top 10 in the month of May. All of the top producers were million dollar months in the month of May. Congrats guys for a killer month. Next, year to date, when you look at individual units, again, agents control their units. The volume market gives you volume. Shout out to Susan Bellows, who, Fellows, who just recently made a transition over from Ogden. 35 units already so far. She eclipsed Molitor. I knew someone would come in and eclipse <laughs> Molitor. Molitor 31, Abby Wall, Oberbrunner, Ethan Masson, KG, Lindsay Andrews, Sophia Berry, Kristen Stahulik, Joey Carini, Nick Fetting, rounding out the top 10 for individual units. And then individual volume. Molitor says she may have me on units, but I still got her on volume. <laughs> Here we go at 13 million. And then Sarah Oberbrunner, Abby Wall, Sophia Berry, Ethan Masson, Bridget Ty, KG, Lindsay Andrews, Kyle Clemens coming in there, and Sarah Reardon rounding out the top 10 so far year to date for individuals. Now let's take a look at May team volume. JSG leading the way with a huge month. 25.2 million in closed volume in the month of May, right? FRG coming in at 18.3, SRG 8.4, on point at Key Home, Fernwood, Duvall Group, Desti's team, Double Bolt, and the G2 team of Guy and George absolutely having a great, great year so far 
especially on the listing side in a tight market. Congrats to Guy and George in the month of May. Next up, year-to-date volume. JSG leading the way with 75 mil, FRG at 62, SRG at 33, on point 18, Duvall at 15, Fernwood at 12, a key home, Nicolet Group, Desti's team, and Double Bolt Realty rounding out the top 10 so far through May. Through May, I repeat, through May. If you want to get perspective or you want to get a vision, 75 million, 62 million, 33 million through May, five months out of the year. There you go. Speed of the leader, speed of the pack. All right. And so far, year to date units, right? Agents control their units. The market gives you volume. JSG, FRG, SRG, On Point, Duvall, um, A Key Home, Fernwood, Destes, The Nicolet Group, and Fair Hinton rounding out the top 10 for closed units so far in. Uh, through May. All right, there we are. Guys, as always, my one caveat to this is this, the awards are never perfect. We hear about it almost every single month and we do our absolute best to recognize you. If there is something that didn't hit the MLS, which is where we pull all these statistics from, which is why there may be some discrepancies. So if you sold a FISBO or you sold an exclude and it didn't hit the MLS, it's the only way that we can recognize the volume aspect from a uh, um, on our end. So just so you guys know, we always work our hardest. And if we miss something, just let us know. We're here to help because we want to make sure that we recognize people in a proper way. All right. With that, I'm flipping it over to an ultimate new change that's come into our business. And here's what I want to tell you. First of all, I owe you an apology. The home warranty provider that we had been with for the last year, year and a half uh, was below average at best from a service standpoint. I will tell you this, I believed in it from the standpoint as I believed in the product it offered, and I was really sold on the sewer lateral coverage and some of the additional things that they offered that most home warranty co companies didn't. Where I always have told you and I have always hung my hat on is service, service, service. And the service, quite frankly, sucked. And I'm going to say that publicly because I've told that to them publicly. Uh, so with that, we're making a change. And the reason why I owe you an apology is this change should have happened much sooner. And that is totally on me. So um, you can send all complaints directly to my email inbox and I will listen to them all and I will address them all. Uh, but just know that that, that, that delay was 100% on my shoulders and nobody else. Having said that, though, I got to give a shout out to one person who is in the room, Kimmy Herbert. Many people think that she was on a, a long-term hiatus. She is just the uh, magician behind the computer. Kimmy helped me identify and select a new home warranty provider to get the whole thing set up so it's operational today as we roll it out to you. And so with that, I'm flipping it over to Kathy Jambor, who I've had a relationship with for five years. She's been chasing us for five years uh, to try and earn our business. And uh, I finally was like, you know what, Kathy, Kimmy, we all need to get in a room to make this happen. Uh, so with that, Kathy's going to come on to give you a little bit of insights as to why America's Preferred Home Warranty is the partner that we chose to change our home warranty relationship with. And also why Keller Williams on a national scale has recognized them as a platinum partner for their service and the warranties that they provide to agents. So with that, I'm going to flip it over to Kathy, who's going to give you an update as to why APHW and help you understand what's in it for me of utilizing their service and products. Yep. Um, so first I wanna say, uh, I'm not important. And Cal will say the same thing. Um, he's from our corporate office, he's not important. Who's important to you is Erica Kelly. Um, so I've, <laughs> I've got all of her information up here. So please make sure you get her phone number. We're going to hang out um, until after the, for some time after the meeting so that you can schedule time with Erica to learn more. Uh, Charlie has given me 15 minutes to uh, talk to you this morning. Um, yes, I did pursue Charlie for five years. Um, but that's not the longest I've pursued something. I've run uh, nine 100 mile races. So that should tell you my determination. Um, thank you, countless 50 milers and marathons. Um, so um, the reason I chose America's Preferred Home Warranty to work with um, five years ago was because of choose your own licensed contractor. Um, that stands apart in the industry. No other warranty company 
does it like we do it. The homeowner truly chooses their own licensed contractor for all covered repairs. The contractor is working for the homeowner, not for us. Um, so people like working with people that they know, like, and trust. So um, if you know somebody, you can refer them. It can even be a family member or friend. They just have to be licensed. So that really sets us apart in addition to our service. Service is our watchword. Um, that's number one with our company. Um, so Erica is going to serve you well. She comes with a background in real estate. Did you want to say anything, Erica, about yourself? Erica, you got to come to the computer because you got 160 people online. <laughs> I'll let you stand in front of the computer. So my name is Erica Kelly. Um, I've been with Prefer America's Preferred Home Warranty for about a month, and I've been in this area my whole life. I have been in real estate for the last 10 years, so I understand you guys' is pain and you guys is triumph. So if you guys need me at all, just give me a call. I'm a phone call away. I want to be your partner and help you grow your business. I'm going to turn it back over to her. Oh, I went back too many. So just in case you didn't get that information, there it is. Um, so choosing your own licensed contractor, when we surveyed our, our clients, they nine out of 10 said it was really important to them to choose their own licensed contractor. They rated their contractor as professional and they were satisfied with the work that the contractor did. So that's really important to your clients. Um, so um, one of the things that were different in as well is we believe a home warranty is a risk management tool. The most effective way to reduce risk is to shift risk, right? So um, you've got a contract, you've got a purchase agreement that details everything um, in your transaction. Uh, the warranty contract is another way. It's a risk management tool, though there's hold harmless language in the um, application where you have your client sign. And I'm gonna show you that in a little bit here. Um, but we also, this is unique to us as well. We have legal protection. First of all, for um, your brokerage, um, we provide a, a maximum of $3,750 um, in E&O coverage if you're brought into an E&O claim. Um, and we also have legal protection for your seller. Um, if for any reason the seller is sued up to two years post-sale, uh, transaction-related uh, lawsuit, um, we will reimburse the seller up to $1,000 in attorney's fees, um, which is unheard of. It gives that seller additional peace of mind if they have our warranty on during the listing period um, and the buyer, um, and it converts to buyer coverage from one year or two years from closing. If for any, if anything transaction related um, comes back on the seller, uh, we'll reimburse that uh, seller up to $1,000 in attorney's fees. Um, so in order for us to do that, there's a couple of steps involved. Um, we must have a data collection form for the listing and the signature on uh, the warranty application. And I'll go through that in a little bit. Um, so that's just more information on it. So here is the application on page 11 of the warranty booklets. And we have materials um, here for you today, along with some flyers with all of this information in there so that you have it available to you. There are materials for you. Um, but hold harmless, I talked about the hold harmless language in this application. If they accept the warranty, it does say obligations under this agreement are solely those of the service pro provider, not the real estate firm. I think sometimes agents tend to um, take on services outside of their control. So this really creates some separation between you and us. We are responsible for the service. And I'm telling you, we're going to give them great service. So you don't have to worry about that. Uh, the waiver says they've reviewed the Supreme Home Warranty Agreement and hereby decline coverage, agreeing to hold the real estate broker and agent harmless in the event of a significant mechanical failure. Uh, almost got it all out. <laughs> That's from my closing days. Um, 
you want to get a signature, whether they want it or not, on every single transaction and keep it in your file. If you're brought into a lawsuit, you're going to need to provide us with that. And the data collection form should already be completed and in your file. Um, those two things are necessary for us to reimburse the brokerage, the E&O deductible. Um, so make sure you're um, getting that signature on every single transaction and keep it in your file. Uh -uh. It's not moving. Now it's probably gonna jump five screens, right? There we go, thank you. Um, so this is a little bit more information about the legal protection for the seller. So the legal protection for the brokerage is called client secure because you're our client. The legal protection for the seller is called list secure. And again, it's two years of post-sale legal protection up to $1,000. A little bit about our pricing. Um, we're very competitively priced. Um, our base plans start at $425 with a $100 deductible or $460 with a $50 deductible. Condos and townhouses are a little bit less, $399 with a $75 deductible. We do have a two-year plan, $799 with a $100 deductible. We cover new construction. Uh, the builder covers the first year for everything. We cover years two, three, and four. All three years are $550 for that base plan with a $75 deductible. And I tell you what, appliances, mechanicals, they're pretty disposable. So um, builders appreciate having our warranty because they wanna be done with it after that first year. And the homeowner can use the subs that the contractor used <coughs> to install the equipment. Um, so the builder likes it because it keeps his subs busy too. And then we cover multifamily units as well. Oh, there I go. Um, so let me just go back. So we cover 24 items in our base plan. It's very comprehensive. Um, we include in our base plan permanently installed sump pumps, roof leak repairs, septic se systems, and well pumps. Um, so we feel our base plan um, is really comprehensive. We do have a buyer preferred upgrade. The biggest thing on the buyer preferred upgrade is the central air coverage or the Freon coverage. Um, Freon is no longer existent. I just had um, Freon put into my central air unit. It was $200 a pound. Um, that was just a couple of weeks ago. Before that, I was saying it was $100 a pound. It's $200 a pound. I needed six pounds. That cost me $1,200. We do not cap the price per pound on Freon. Most warranty companies do, um, typically around $10 a pound. So the rest is left to the homeowner to pay. Um, so for that alone, I feel like the buyer preferred upgrade is really um, huge to have on the property. It covers sediment in the hot water heater, code violations, clocks, knobs, baskets, rollers. Um, it really makes that base plan more comprehensive. Hinges, springs, keypads, and remote transmitters on the garage door opener. Um, and then we had agents ask us, um, I want the standard covered items, the buyer preferred upgrade and washer and dryer coverage all in one plan. Um, so we created the bu buyer's premier coverage plan. It's $685 with a $50 deductible. Um, it's basically all the bells and whistles, but there are some optional coverages that they can have. Additional refrigerators, gas fireplaces, in-ground pools and spas, jetted bathtubs, in-ground sprinkler systems, termite control for our Southern states. We are a national company. Somebody asked me that earlier. Um, and the water softener. Uh, so very comprehensive plan. Here are the items we cover for the seller complimentary during the listing period if a warranty is purchased for the buyer. Um, plumbing, electrical, your hot water heater. Those are the, the big ones on the seller coverage plan. And then we have a seller preferred upgrade, which is going to cover that HVAC um, and the kitchen appliances. Um, 
It's really easy to order our warranty. We have many options available to you. DocuSign, um, you can call it in. You can fax it in if anybody uses fax anymore. Um, you can email it in. Um, you can order online through our online agent portal, um, which is called RealPro. Um, to start a claim, the homeowner must call our customer service department. Um, some warranty companies are not 24-7, 365 person to person. I, I always put a home warranty on my own property so I can see how we stack up to the competition. Surprise, surprise, I did not know that every warranty company was not 24-7. How could you not be? <laughs> um, so we are. And if we don't answer the phone immediately, we answer in 45 seconds. We really want to take care of your clients. Um, if we don't, we're out of business, right? Service is our watchword. That's number one. It's important that they be taken care of. Um, so they can file a claim online as well if they prefer. So we have that option available too. And then all of our marketing materials are free to you. We brought some samples today so you can see those. Um, we have door hangers, sign riders, table tents, buyer and seller benefit sheets that explain the benefits of a home warranty um, to take it off of you um, and um, provide information on, uh, on uh, uh, what's covered and what's not covered. That's another part of service. We worked really hard to make it easy to read our warranty and we'll show you that um, after the meeting. Um, we're accredited with NHSCA, which is the National Home Service Contract Association. Um, you know, that's something that realtors should be looking for when they work with a warranty company. It's a, just another step forward to assure regulators and consumers um, that we take our responsibility seriously to meet their expectations. And um, check out our reviews. We're um, one of the best warranty companies out there for reviews. We've got really good reviews. We're A plus accredited with the Better Business Bureau, which is really important too. Any situation, any complaint we have with the Better Business Bureau, we take care of. We respond, we get it resolved. Um, so just to wrap it up, um, you've heard about us. And we want to know about you. Um, you are what's important to us. We are here for you as agents. Um, I, we want to learn about your business. Um, if you want to schedule a meeting with Erica, like I said, we'll be hanging out afterwards. Um, or she'll be reaching out to you to set up individual meetings as well. Um, so we're looking forward to working with all of you. And uh, I trust that we will provide the service that you're looking for. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Charlie. Um, we'll see you after the meeting. Sweet. So guys, um, as I mentioned earlier, APHW, national company, been fully vetted by the group down in Austin, Texas. Uh, Kathy's been after me for five years to make this happen. I owe you the apology for sticking with someone longer than we should have in terms of the level of service that was not to our expectations and that's totally on me. And I'm very excited to be working with Erica. Um, APHW is, I'll tell you, as we went through this process, which Kimmy took what, three or four months while we vetted this whole thing out. Um, we vetted them for about three or four months locally to make sure that we were providing you the, what we would expect from a service standpoint, which is why we're making this change. Uh, and we're excited for that moving forward. Kimmy will be sending out a note to everyone on all our rosters across North Shore Innovation and Lake Country. Next steps as it relates to ordering procedures. It's already available in your zip forms, already available in DocuSign. For those of you that uh, use other platforms, I know Kimmy has worked with your uh, administrative teams to get you the documents you need, as well as our business disclosure forms and everything's been uploaded and ready for you guys to rock and roll. Any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to myself and I'll make sure that we get you Erica's contact information uh, for, for us here locally. Erica and I will be tied at the hip. So if you need anything from a service standpoint, you call me and I'll make sure I'll work through it with Erica because service is really, really important to me and I wanna make sure that I don't set you up for, uh, for nothing but success moving forward. All right, with that, we also have some important compliance updates. Last week, myself, Joan, Steph, and Maureen uh, attended the Metro MLS Broker Summit. 
which was a morning with the entire uh, Metro MLS leadership. There's some important changes coming down the pike. Some of it you've been aware of, some of it you're not aware of. Um, so with that, Steph's going to help us recap what's coming down the pike from a Metro MLS standpoint. Steph, I'm flipping it over to you. Awesome. Good morning, you guys. Um, yeah, so just new, some new MLS updates, not as exciting as new home warranty companies, but we just want to make you guys aware of this. Um, so Metro MLS has extended support hours for us. Um, office hours, you can say, see, have typically stayed the same, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday through Friday, um, but they have expanded their technical support hours to 7.30 to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday, which is key. That Saturday weekend hours is fantastic. Um, so please note that you can call on them um, during those hours and you'll get help. Uh, next up, um, new online chat. And I confirmed this morning, this is up and running and live. Um, for those of you who do not wanna wait on the telephone, you can um, tap into the online chat system, which is a great new feature. Then um, uploading uh, documents. So for those um, of us who are uploading documents that do not fit the standard descriptions that were previously already set, we can customize the document description now. Um, again, I confirmed this is all up and live um, for us to now go ahead and take advantage of. Then, um, and now probably the most important update, um, this is, has not been released yet. This is coming in probably quarter three or quarter four. Um, as we know, Showing Time was acquired by Zillow and we do not want to partner with Showing Time anymore. So uh, the MLS has listened um, and responded and a new company aligned showings will be coming up. Um, so next slide, Charlie. Yeah. Steph, yep. I'm just going to give uh, two, one quick analogy and one quick point of reference for you guys. First of all, here's the analogy. And I actually thought this was, I didn't know where he was going with this, but it made a ton of sense at the end once he explained this. He said the problem with showing time, not that the platform itself has any problems. He goes, the problem with showing time would be this. It would be if Jerry Jones of the Dallas Cowboys bought the NFL. And as the owner of the NFL, he has access to data and information with regards to transactions that would give him a competitive edge to ensure that the Cowboys always had a competitive edge versus the Green Bay Packers, okay? And the problem in that scenario is because Zillow is a registered brokerage in the state of Wisconsin, it's as if the Dallas Cowboys bought the platform that provides a lot of competitive data that they can leverage and weaponize and utilize against their competitive set. And they didn't feel that that was a fair playing field, which is why they've been moving to make this move. Second thing that you have to understand about this move, Aligned Showings was a tech company that was purchased by about eight or nine different Metro MLSs. The reason why this is important is because the platform itself can no longer be bought or sold by what would potentially be a competitor within the marketplace, which I think is very, very important to stress. Third, many of you, and I know I saw Jay raise his hands, many of you have known this has been coming. The problem was they didn't want to roll this out March, April, May, because they know that there would have been a massive revolt within the system. I did personally have a conversation with Chris Carrillo last week after the broker summit, offering that we would be happy to help test pilot, depending on who and what and how many people want to sign up for this, how many people want to test pilot this program, because there is going to be a transitionary period, just so you guys know, there's going to be a tr transitionary period while we get some people off the showing platform into a line showing. So there will be two, two platforms in the marketplace for a finite amount of time. Just know that's coming. Here's why I offered our services. For example, in Lake Country and in North Shore, within the demographic or the within the geographic zip codes of our core demographic markets, we are the number one player in those markets. As, an, as a further example, in the North Shore, in the last 12 months, we have sold 49% of all homes that were sold from the downtown Milwaukee area to Mequon. 49% of all homes were sold through a KW agent. If we all move, to align showings, guess what will happen? The rest of the market will have to follow. So I'm offering our scale and economies of scale across the three markets that we oversee to be 
one of the first to adopt this to help get the rest of the market to move faster than what they did with, for example, sentry lock lock boxes, which seemed like it took forever. Or a little bit of plug, because I know some people aren't using this, is trust funds. So we're going to be the first to adopt aligned showings because I want to move the market into this platform faster than what the market has adopted other platforms. And so just know there's going to be a little bit of a learning curve. Guess what? You aren't the only ones going through it. All of our peers at other brokerages are going through it as well. And I want to be able to leverage our economies of scale to be early adopters to the platform to get the rest of the market to move through. Can I get your buy-in on that when that comes? Yeah. Beautiful. I love it. <laughs> All right. Steph, yeah. back to you. Awesome. Thank you for expanding on that, Charlie. Um, so just, yeah, features you would expect to find in a new showing active or showing appointment platform activity reports, um, graphs of showing activity on your listings, summary view for more information. Um, next would be a uh, mobile app, of course, um, push notifications directly on the phone. Obviously there's gonna be training on all of this when, we, when it rolls out. Um, uh, email uh, or SMS notifications, dedicated alert sections that acts as notifications history. Um, calendar view of each appointment, um, and then different notification settings based on the listing or the buyer side rules, which I think is key. Um, and then I think the most important feature, oh, sorry, next up is the next one, uh, customized listing setup, block out times and dates as you see fit. Again, this is all standard stuff that we see in showing time as well. So, um, but then there is a messaging feature that is going to be a part of this new platform. Um, there'll be itemized message threads tied to each appointment, adding notes to conversations that are only visible by the team. So a great way for our teams to communicate with one another um, within the platform um, as it relates to showings. So um, they're definitely most excited about this new feature in aligned showings. So that's what we have. Um, again, um, as Charlie mentioned, it will be rolled out uh, later on and will be definitely be a part of troubleshooting any hiccups that come along. Yeah, one last comment I would make as it relates to aligned showings. One, this is a platform that's already in use across the US. So it's not something new that's being built brand new from the ground up. It's actually already being utilized in Arizona. Two, again, I wanna reiterate, the reason for the delay in rolling this out is they did not wanna roll this out during the apex of the market. I would project that we will start seeing communication as an ado early adopters. And I would imagine August or September so that we're rolling this out in third and fourth quarter so that by the time first quarter of 23 and second quarter of 23 comes along, you, uh, you guys, would, what I would be considered to be super users of the platform. Cool? All right. All right. Steph, flipping it back to you. Um, and then next up, um, I just wanted to remind everyone um, when it's appropriate to use an amendment to the real estate condition report. Um, so if something is learned after the our sellers um, fill out their initial real estate condition report that uh, needs to be added, um, we would use the amendment to the real estate condition report. Um, timing of this though is key. Um, you would amend the real estate condition report before you receive an accepted offer um, to be issued to a prospective buyer um, or after a transaction has fallen apart um, and you intend to put it back on the market, um, the seller at that point would fill out an amendment to the real estate condition report. If something is discovered at any time during the middle of a transaction, um, come to Joni and I if you have questions, but um, our first line of attack is definitely to refer to the property damage provision in the offer to purchase um, to help us navigate if there's anything, any defects or any damage discovered within um, or during the time of an active offer act, or during the middle of a transaction. Um, so I just, it's very key that we are not having our sellers amend the real estate condition report in the middle of a transaction. Um, and then just two key reminders with that. Um, if an amended report is provided during the transaction, this opens up the opportunity for, for the buyer to rescind the offer um, where there would otherwise not be an opportunity. So this is just 
very important. <laughs> um, we don't want to put our sellers at risk at all. So, and then we don't want to put ourselves at risk. So any of us who would advise a seller to provide an amendment to the wrecker um, without discussing the possible ramifications, we're also at risk for exposing the seller to unnecessary risk. So we would be in hot water with our seller clients if we um, opened up that opportunity for them. So just please note again, when it's appropriate to use the amendment to the real estate condition report. If you have any questions, please see Joni or I or Kimmy. Thank you. Then our favorite time of year, um, just another reminder oh, about the um, continuing education. Uh, it must be completed by December 14th. Many of you ask me, um, ask us, I should say, uh, the best uh, platform to use for uh, doing our continuing education, definitely just go to the WRA. Um, we have the uh, website right there for you, um, wra.org backslash CE, and we'll send out that link for us or in the uh, uh, re team meeting recap. Excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, it's June 14th. You have literally six months to the day to complete your continuing ed. Yes. Get it done. <laughs> Don't be late. Because otherwise, what's going to happen is Steph and I will be called, or Diana or Josh or Mandy will be calling you on five o'clock on June 14th and we'll be hosting a happy hour here in the office until you get your continuing end done. <laughs> and don't be surprised when it happens because guess what? It's happened before. <laughs> so we will make sure to document who chooses to do that in December 14th in 2022. All right, cool. Yep. All right, flipping forward in the interest of time. We have some stuff we'll roll out next week for Lindsay, but I'm going to wrap it up with upcoming trainings and events. So special field trip today for agent to agent. Gail Zeman is, uh, bless her heart, has been running this program called Agent to Agent, where it allows people of all um, production levels to get together to talk about the market. Today, they're going on a field trip at one o'clock. Some people have never seen a home down to the bare bones. I talked about it when Joey Carini capped in earlier. If you want to visit a flip down to its bare bones state and really get to the nitty gritty of what a house looks like, mark this down, 4466 North 109th Street today at 1 p.m. Meet Gail and Joey as they go through a house to look at what do you need to know or pay attention to as everything's stripped down to the studs. It'll be a great content, great class. Check it out today at one o'clock, 4466 North 109th Street. Visit a flip down to the bare bones. All right, June training calendar. Here's what you need to know this week. Tomorrow at 10 a.m., Paul Nikolic is going through defending your commission in a market where margins are getting tighter, not more robust. Margins are getting tighter and everyone's asking for you to give up your hard-earned dollars help you understand how he articulates his value in order to justify what it is that he earns from an income standpoint. Thursday, if you haven't registered, I've sent it out and I'm gonna send it out again. Five steps to 15 more sellers this summer with Jeff Glover U. It's only $29 at the Brookfield Sheridan from nine to noon. We already have 75 people registered. I'll tell you again, Jeff Glover gives you the meat and potatoes. I think he's a phenomenal presenter. I don't say that of many guest speakers, which is why we don't have many guest speakers fly in because they're always trying to sell you something else. There's always an ulterior motive or agenda. Jeff does a very nice job helping you get down to the meat and potatoes. And then Maureen and Friends this week, Friday at 10 a.m. Reminder, the office is closed next week, Monday, June 20th in celebration of Juneteenth Day. We will have a team meeting next week, Tuesday, the 21st. All right, as I talked about, Paulie will be leading the defending your commission conversation and overcoming objectives tomorrow at 10 a.m. via Zoom. So plug into that. 15 more sell, five steps to 15 more sellers, June 16th from nine to noon. I'll be leading a panel around lead gen for listings with local folks next week, uh, July, uh, June 22nd, not July, at 10 a.m. via Zoom. It's one of my favorite things I do every month is we peel back the onion and allow the flower to bloom to understand what it is that people are doing to get listings in this tight environment. So stay tuned for that. Ignite coming back July 6th for the month of July. So if you need to rebuild the foundation in your business, pay attention. And if you want to be average, stay at home. If you want to be a mega, sign up for Mega Camp. It's offered both in person in Austin, Texas. Great place to visit with phenomenal food and beverage and nightlife. Great spot. I'd sign up for Mega Camp if you want to be a mega. Otherwise, they also offer a digital version where you can plug into the content digitally. 
I saw the agenda yesterday for the very first time. It's jam-packed. Day one is all content. Day two is half a day of content. And we are on our way with 10 pages of notes to implement. Remember, education without implementation is just entertainment. You aren't here to be entertained. You're here to build a big business and a life by design. All right, guys. There you go. That's what I know. Lots of changes in the air. Appreciate the APHW crew for jumping in. Erica, we're looking forward to teaming up with you. Kathy, th thanks for coming in to present the policy. If you have any questions on the changes for MLS, please reach out to Steph, Joan, myself, anybody else. We're here to help. Uh, Lake Country crew, jump over to Lake Country Meetup. North Shore and Innovation, I'll lead over to the new listing needs. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. The world is run by those who show up.